First, a couple of definitions. When we talk about display size, we're referring to the dimensions of the viewing screen. When we say display type, we mean the different types of screen that are available. Although monitors tend to be sold on technical specifications, their size, positioning and the distance from the viewer are just as important. When you're choosing a monitor, it's important to determine the level of detail that needs to be observed. If a monitor is small or far away, it may be possible to see different images at the same time, but at the cost of a reduction in the level of viewable detail. If the monitor is big or close, then it may be possible to see a high level of detail. But this setup also has disadvantages. Observers can only view one particular scene and they don't see the whole picture of what's going on. Another drawback of this is that there's a large scan area to cover. This increases the time required to monitor a scene and decreases the likelihood of making accurate observations of fast-moving activities. It's also important to consider how the screen will be positioned relative to the observer. The ideal placement is directly in front of the observer and around three times the screen height away from him or her. The further the monitor deviates from this position, the more difficult it becomes for observers to watch the display comfortably. Too far to the side and they have to crane their neck. Too high or too low and the viewing position becomes uncomfortable and difficult to maintain for long periods. You should also consider the ratio of monitors to the number of people working in the control room. Can one operator watch 10 monitors? You should take care to ensure that any monitors, especially spot monitors, are of a high quality and that the observers are not losing detail because their monitors have a low contrast ratio or poor resolution. Increasingly, cathode ray tube or CRT monitors are being replaced by flat screens. These are cheaper, lighter and more efficient, but the overall picture quality may be inferior. Here you can see that as the vehicle speeds up, we lose definition of the number plate on the flat screen monitor. The question you need to ask is can my observers accurately see the right number of pictures at the right level of detail? <laughs>